the size of the capacitor is measured in farads. To explain what that is, let's imagine that we put a capacitor in series with a cell and then charge it up. But don't just charge it a little, keep charging it. And let us suppose further that the cell has a potential difference across the terminals of one volt. If this one volt cell managed to push a charge of one coulomb around the circuit to store on the plates, then that would have a capacitance of one farad. So the definition is that a farad is the capacitance which stores a charge of one coulomb across a potential difference of one volt, giving us the equation C, the capacitance, is equal to Q, the quantity of charge in coulombs, divided by V, the potential difference in volts. If we try to make a simple capacitor like this, of two sheets of foil divided by a thin film of plastic, then the area of the sheets would be enormous. It would have to be larger than a football field, or a cricket field, or a baseball field, or indeed all of them put together. In electronics, capacitance is usually measured in very small units, commonly microfarads, which is one millionth of a farad, or 10 to the minus 6. Or, for many applications, it will be in picofarad, which is 10 to the minus 12 farad. So, for example, these capacitors are 10 picofarad, 100 picofarad, and 1000 picofarad. Supercapacitors with values of 1 farad and much more were developed and manufactured from the late 1970s. They used in applications requiring frequent charge-discharge cycles rather than long-term storage, for example in vehicle regenerative braking, and power backup in computer and other electronic systems. Thank you for watching.